Hello, my name is Richard Kent. Today I want to talk about the second law of thermodynamics. I don't know if you've heard about that, but it's a really important law. Uh, the second law of thermodynamics talks about entropy. And I'm going to explain entropy very simply and then try and explain in more complex detail exactly what we're talking about. Basically, if I have a hot cup of tea in my hand, after half an hour I end up with a cold cup of tea. What's happened is the tea has become cold and the room has become slightly hotter. Uh, entropy is uh, talking about the uh, increasing disorder in a system. Um, let's take the sun as an example. Uh, in the sun, you've heard me talk about the sun many, many times on purpose because the sun is the, is the source of all the energy in our solar system. And within the sun, every minute, sorry, every second, uh, 600 million tons of hydrogen are converted into helium every second, except for four tons which convert into light and heat and energy. So actually, all the time, the sun is getting slightly smaller. Now, in billions of years' time, which we're not going to see because Jesus Christ is going to come back first, um, in theory, the sun would burn out completely. And that's called entropy, because the amount of energy and uh, available energy in the hydrogen atoms in the sun is decreasing all the time, so eventually we end up with heat death. Now, this doesn't just apply to heat, and energy applies to all systems. I'll give you another simple example. I have a very messy study. And in my very messy study, there are lots of drawers and, uh, and lots of different places I put things. And every three months, they get very, very messy. And I have to tidy that up. And it's because of entropy. Increasing disorder in Richard Kent's study. There's increasing disorder in our own bodies. I used to be able to run quite a reasonable marathon, but I can't do it anymore. I can't run a reasonable marathon because of entropy in my own body. All of us are getting older. We're not getting better. We're actually getting worse. We're getting older because our, our, our whole body systems are winding down. Now, what do the evolutionists teach? They teach something completely different. They teach that 13.8 billion years ago, there was a big bang. And something which arose by chance, called a singularity, exploded and caused a highly ordered system. Let me describe the system in terms of planet Earth. Our Earth is 93 million miles away from the Sun. And we're travelling through space at 60,000 miles per second, and the, at the equator, the equator is spinning round at 1,000 miles an hour. However, if we were 1% closer to the sun, we would all boil. If we were 1% further away, we would all freeze to death as one solid block of ice. Now, there are literally millions and millions of different parameters on planet Earth, and I don't have to go into all the details, except to point out that the whole solar system is very carefully and intricately designed by a super scientist called Jesus Christ. Very, very carefully, with literally millions and millions of interdependent parameters. But the evolutionists like to break the rules of thermodynamics the first and the second laws of thermodynamics. They like to say that with an explosion, things get, with an explosion, things get more organized. Have you ever seen an explosion? Have you seen a firework explode? Have you ever seen on, on a film? Have you ever seen an explosion? Have you ever seen something organized as a result of an explosion? Well, I'll tell you what, I haven't. I have never heard of an explosion causing a, an, an organized universe. Let me tell you that the laws of entropy say that it's not possible to have an explosion to cause an, an organized universe. The answer is evolution is rubbish. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Thanks for listening and God bless you.